ZBrush for desktop and iPad get major updates with our spring release. The most anticipated addition for ZBrush for iPad is the Z Modeler feature, which revolutionizes box modeling and significantly speeds up workflow. Z Modeler's Q Mesh mode allows users to easily add and subtract topology, making it easier for sculptors to work with low poly models and create base meshes. The update also includes a fresh UI, an insert edge loop snap ability for more flexible edge placement, expanded selection actions, user presets, and long press options for added convenience. Additionally, ZBrush for iPad will support Nano Mesh, enabling users to populate mesh polygons with multiple models without sacrificing performance, and the introduction of UV Master for gesture-based UV unwrapping. iPad users will also gain the ability to create their own VDM alphas, a feature that adds undercutting, making it possible to draw out complex sculpted shapes with a simple click and drag of your brush stroke. On the desktop side, ZBrush will add more Redshift integration with 18 plus new Redshift materials and a one-to-one -one RS standard material feature set, as you find in Cinema 4D and other DCCs. Z Modeler enhancements will be introduced on desktop as well, such as the presets, insert edge loop snapping, and new selection action mode. These updates mark significant strides in both platforms, with ZBrush for iPad closing the feature gap with a desktop version.